Welcome to the Money Collier Report. I'm Money Collier. In this video, I will be discussing the stolen concept. Philosophers like Ayn Rand would have us believe that deists were our founding fathers. Why? So they can steal the reformed concepts of individual civil liberties, such as freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of public and peaceful assembly to protest. Why? It's like a Protestant wrote the Constitution and Bill of Rights. The freedom to have arms, and so on. Rand was guilty of the fallacy of the stolen concept, for her epistemology could not warrant her ethics, politics, or economics. For constitutional democratic republicanism and free market capitalism are a priori deduced from the Bible alone, not empirical observation. Rand, like other mystics, communists, agnostics, atheists, collectivists, and papists, hate the idea that this nation was once a strong, Bible-believing country. Such chumps promulgate the myth that America was not the result of the Protestant Reformation. Consider objectivism, Rand's empirical philosophy. Rand could not jump Hume's gap, so she plummeted to her intellectual doom. In other words, Rand's epistemology failed to provide the necessary means to deduce any normative statement from a descriptive one. Simply put, you cannot deduce an ought from an is. By logical contrast, the true founding fathers of the United States of America were Martin Luther, John Calvin, Hodrick Zwingli, Martin Bucer, the Pilgrims, and others who believe the Bible alone is the Word of God and that sinners are justified by faith alone. Rand is credited for coining the term the fallacy of the stolen concept. She most likely did so for the purpose of accusing others of being guilty of what she herself was doing. It's an old political trick. She only refuted herself in the end. The Bible says, he made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch, which he made, in quote, Psalm 7, verse 15. Again, the Bible says, quote, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. End quote. Proverbs chapter 26, verses 27 through 28. God bless.